Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In today's episode we're going to be solving a Physics 7B Position, Velocity and Acceleration Practice Problem, the Lightsaber Toss. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like, it really helps our channel. So let's go ahead and uh, look at this problem. So R2D2 tosses a lightsaber to Luke on Tatooine, a planet with uh, similar gravity to Earth. The time right after the lightsaber has left R2-D2 is uh, 0 seconds. The time when the lightsaber reaches a maximum height is 1 second. And the time right before uh, Luke catches the lightsaber is 2 seconds. Assume the initial velocity of the lightsaber is 10 meters per second and the initial height is 0 meters. The, basically the thing that we have to do is plot the three graphs, uh, position, velocity and acceleration. Okay, so as you can see, I have everything written down here. So I have my three uh, empty graphs and I have all of the uh, relevant information over here. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I think just by uh, looking at this problem that the easiest way to start it is by uh, plotting the acceleration. So this is a lightsaber toss, which means uh, R2-D2 basically uh, launched an object. Uh, you know, he launched an object and then the object is just basically moving in a parabola because it is not really being hit by anything or it's not experiencing any sort of forces except gravity. And then Luke basically catches it on the other side. So acceleration in this case is just gonna be uh, gravity because the net force that the lightsaber is feeling is just the force of gravity so because net force is equal to mass times acceleration that just means that our acceleration for this entire problem is going to be a uh, negative 10. so i'm just going to go ahead and grab that there we go Okay, so now um, for the velocity graph, there are several ways in which we can figure this out. There is the, uh, I like to put numbers on a calculator way, and there's the more visual way. The first way is just really understanding what acceleration and velocity, um, you know, how they are connected. Now, the initial velocity is equal to 10, so I'm going to start my graph here. And if I understand that acceleration is the um, that um, is the slope of velocity, then I know that having an acceleration of negative ten means that for every second that I move to the right, like for every second that passes, I'm moving ten uh, meters per second down. So that is that is what a slope is for every one second to the right. You're moving 10 uh, meters per second down because this is negative, so it's going down. So that means that if I start at 10, after one second, then I went down 10. And after two seconds, then I went down, you know, another 10. Which is over here. So if you understand the relationship between velocity and acceleration, then you just you can just go ahead and do this, and then connect the dots, and that's it. Now I did say that there is another way to do this if you are not so visual, and that would be to use your kinematic equations. So as you can see, um, we do have an accel- well, first of all, this don't matter because this problem is just on y, but if you have acceleration over here, then you can basically use this equation. You know your initial velocity, so you can just put a uh, plus 10 here, put negative 10 here, and then just be like, okay, after one second, what is my final velocity? And then just plot it. And then, okay, after two seconds, what is my final velocity? Put it on a calculator, and then that will just give you another number. So this is the, uh, I like to put numbers on a calculator sort of way, because you can just use this equation for like several seconds, and then you just put the values of the numbers, and then that's basically gonna give you the exact same graph because you know it should work regardless of you know what type of person are you. So this is our velocity graph, and now we need to go from uh, velocity to position. Now um, this is a slope line, which means that our position is going to be a parabola, and uh, 
We do know that this slope is uh, negative, so that means that we are going to have a parabola uh, concave down, which makes sense because this is a toss, like when you toss something, it, it kind of looks like a concave down parabola. However, this is where this part of the instructions, you know, um, become important because I know that this has to be a parabola concave down and I know because the problem says so that at t is equal to 1 we need to reach maximum height which makes sense because at t is equal to 1 the lightsaber stops going up and starts going down so that does make sense so far but that doesn't really make a distinction between this parabola or this parabola or this parabola so uh, even though I know that the parabola needs to have a maximum over here and I know that that will make sense because this one's going up and this one's going down and everything will make sense, I really don't have enough information by just looking at what I have here to figure out the, um, you know, the correct form of my, of my parabola, the correct height. So really the only thing I'm missing is a maximum height and I don't really know that information. So um, at this point I will need the help of a kinematic equation. These are the four kinematic equations. Now just by looking at my kinematic equations, which one am I gonna use? Well, first of all, I need to be using either this or this because I mean, I want a maximum height so let's just go ahead and try with this one. Uh, both of them are gonna work. Let me just go ahead and say that. So both of them are gonna work. Let me just write it down. All right, so let's see. Now this is the equation that I'm gonna use. And what I wanna know is what is the maximum height? So it wouldn't make a lot of sense to use my kinematic equation from zero to two seconds because I'm literally skipping what I want to know. I would have to use my kinematic equation from zero to one seconds. So let's see. Delta Y is equal to, my initial velocity was equal to 10. Delta T in this case is equal to just one second because if I do two, then what's going to happen is that uh, I'm going to get a delta y from here to here and that's just going to be zero, which is fine, but that is just not what we're looking for. Um, so this is just one plus one half. Acceleration, this is a part where people really do like to mess up, is negative 10 because it's going down. And then delta t again, oh, this should be squared. Um, so this is just one squared. Uh, wouldn't make a difference, but that's fine. Well, I don't really need a calculator. So this is 10 um, minus five. So that is going to be equal delta y um, is equal to plus five meters, which makes sense because we went up five meters. And because the initial was equal to zero, uh, the initial is equal to zero, then that just means that um, you know, this is final minus initial, but if the initial is equal to zero, then my y final is just five. And by final, what I mean is final according to this equation, but again, you always want to make sure that you know what you're doing. So my maximum height is at five. So now I know exactly what parabola I'm going to be drawing. So let's just go ahead and draw it um, like this. And there we go. Now we have every single possible value that we can have. We have initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration. All my values are correct over here. And as you can see, it makes sense because my lightsaber is going up on the first second, which is the positive side over here. It is going down uh, on the second um, second. And, um, and my acceleration, I mean, it's just minus 10. So that's going to be it for this problem, guys. If you found this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave them on the comments. I do read them and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.